Hey guys, Josiah from Quadratic here. Today I am super excited because finally I have got all my components together to build the Jungle Beast. We're going to have a run through of all these components in a sec. But first I want to tell you a little bit what it's about. Basically, it's really hard to stay up to date with all the latest advances in this hobby. You know, you buy a 30 amp PSC, two days later by the time it's arrived, um, or two weeks if you've got it off Banggood, you know, they're making 45 amp ESCs, uh, and it's just impossible to keep up really. So today we're going to be taking a look at a quad that I've been wanting to build for quite a while, and I've finally got all the parts for it, which has got some really cutting edge components, really top of the line, and that isn't really going to go out of style in the next six months or so, because these are sort of leading the way in innovation in different parts and stuff. Now, obviously, there's going to be uh, updated versions of these parts, um, possibly out soon and things like that. So, um, you know, keep in mind, you know, you don't have to get all these components if you're going to do this build. Uh, probably by the time I've uploaded this, there'll be new components of this anyway. Um, so anyway, we're going to take a look at them all individually because they are all really awesome. Uh, and I'd urge you to build along with this if you want to. So we're going to do in-depth look at components and then a final build and then finally we'll do a flight uh, and see how this thing handles. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at all the components individually and see what we've got to build. Okay, so let's get started with the components. Now, I can't promise that this is going to be a really affordable build. You know, we're going with some pretty top spec components here, so it is going to put a little bit of a dint in your wallet, but it's going to be something you're able to fly for a long time. It's going to take 2 to 6S, uh, so you really be going to be able to progress uh, through the battery ratings on this boy if you're a newbie. Um, and yeah, it's going to be super, super easy to build. It's really modular. And I'm really looking forward to building it. So anyway, this is the frame, uh, nicely modelled by my beautiful hands here. This is the GEPRC Leopard. And I've gone for the 5 inch version, we're doing a standard 220mm build here. Um, and yeah, it's really nice, I've done a full review of this. Um, I really like the gold accents, uh, we've got uh, room for uh, camera in here to go at different varying degrees as well. Um, and it's got this sort of uh, brushed aluminium top plate as well, which I think is really nice. That's really going to protect our camera and all our components. Uh, and then we've also got uh, the additional part on here to connect the antenna onto our um, frame as opposed to onto the VTX itself. So that is just going to provide a little bit more um, stability uh, and it's not going to go ripping anything off. We've got a nice uh, sort of silicon little bit for our battery strap uh, and our battery to go on here so that it doesn't slip about. Uh, and then obviously the battery strap uh, can go underneath there. Um, the battery strap in question, I'm going to be using my quadratic customized one. Get this on my Patreon if you want. If you don't have one, um, you know, just use whatever battery stack we've got, they're all the same. You'll notice we've got the PDB on here, this is just because it came with the uh, frame, but we're not actually going to use this. So if you go ahead uh, and order one of these where you have the option to select this, or maybe you want to use a different frame, you know, you don't need to get a PDB for it because we have got that. And we have got that inside our HGL Tech V5 Pro. Now this is a really neat piece of kit, I'll uh, pop it open here. So this is basically pretty much everything you'll need uh, apart from an ESC. We'll take a closer look at it, I'll, uh, I'll just zoom in, that'll, that'll probably be easier. Um, so this is the F4 which is the flight controller, so it's an F4 flight controller uh, and it's the version 5 Pro. You'll see uh, we've got the bit for the battery to go on here with the XT60 plug provided. So this is why we don't need the PDB uh, on our uh, quad which is built in there. So we're going to go ahead and replace that with this. So you'll see we've got a little um sort of digital display here for numbers and the battery next to it, uh, sorry, the uh, button next to it. That's because this has got an inbuilt VTX and we've actually got this uh, sort of pigtail antenna with a tiny little needle connector which go into the board and then this uh, will come through and that will connect nicely to the little bit where I showed you uh, that the antenna will go later. So that's really good, you know, we've got not got the antenna connected directly to a VTX uh, so we've got no chance of damaging anything on this board with that which I think is really neat touch. Uh, this is obviously uh, the holes are going to fit a standard um, 2020 to uh, sorry 220 frame um, as this one is uh, five inch um, and it's got a lot of features you'll see we've got the arrow pointing forward there we've got the USB port on here uh, and the boot button so uh, we don't have to go soldering any pins together and like I mentioned earlier we've also got the VTX on here with built-in on-screen display uh, and I'll show you how to set that all up later you'll be able to see we've got 25 200 and 600 milliwatts on here uh, so we've got a switchable really 
quite intense uh, range as well on their uh, switchable VTX. So this is going to be perfect for you guys in England who are limited to 225 uh, and great for you guys with big open spaces in America who want to rip on at 600 milliwatts. So that's a really nice touch. Like I mentioned, it's got on-screen display. It also comes with a buzzer um, and on the back here you'll be able to see what we've got. We've got all the uh, channel ratings and how we can find those uh, by pressing the different buttons to get cycle through um, on this um, VTX and we'll be able to see that on the little dial pad here. Uh, we've also uh, got some, I'll zoom in on that a little bit more, you'll be able to see we've also got a couple of the um, descriptions about it. So this actually uh, is a Betaflight OSD so it's going to be really easy to set up. Um, it's also got a current sensor um, up to 200 amps which is really nice so we'll be able to tell uh, how much we're ripping here and of course we can go between 2 and 6S as well uh, and it's got a 5 volt output on here as well so that we can um, do all all of our LEDs um, and flight controllers, receivers, uh, sorry, things like that. So this is going to be uh, really good. And of course, it supports SBUS, which is what we all want. So we're going to go ahead, uh, pop that to the side for the moment uh, and come back and build that up later because uh, we're going to go on to our next thing. Now, connecting all that up, I'm just going to be using the uh, TBS Triumph because I think this is a pretty standard antenna. You can get smaller versions of this now uh, with the stem about that big, uh, which I think would be better for this quad because um, it's just better to have uh, something smaller so you don't risk damaging it as much and so it's out of the way. Now connecting that you may be wondering well how are we going to do the ESCs and that is a good question. Um, I'm going to have to open these. I've not opened these yet. So this is going to be um, something I haven't tried before, but something I'm really looking forward to. You'll see it's X-Racer uh, Quadrant. This is actually called, you might be wondering why it's called Quadrant, uh, 4 to 6S. Now, this is only 25 amps. I know you'll be seeing 45 amps out there, but it still does 4 to 6S and it's D-Shock compatible. So I don't really see the problem with this because these are going to be really good um, and they're going to be, you know, sort of up to date on your quad for a while. You're not going to be going on to 7s for a long time um, and you don't really need that higher amp rating uh, on this quad setup so you'll see there we go uh, we've got all four of them in here and they're looking like really nice escs but you might notice they've got a bit of a hole in them which looks a bit odd so if i take these out uh, you'll be able to see for some reason each one of them has got a hole now this is actually because we can do these uh, as a quadrant as the name suggests which is really cool so if we want we can put them on the arms um, although you're not going to manage to fit them on these arms uh, because the GRPC frame is quite thin um, but we don't want them on the arms because this is actually a four-in-one controller uh, ESC sorry and you'll be able to see uh, we can do it like that so that's going to be able to uh, go on top of our FC um, from HGL Tech uh, and go in really nicely. You'll see these uh, corners, the central bit here, uh, and the edges, these are all gonna need soldering up uh, to hold it steady. Uh, so we're gonna do that later. And then these are just where we connect the ESCs. Uh, and then of course, we will get the power support on there as well. But this is a really neat design and something I think is really great um, as a four in one ESC, because obviously when we're getting four in one, it looks so much better on our quad. We don't have all those uh, long, horrible uh, wires and big thick ESCs in there um, in the center of the arms so it looks like a really neat build however there's obviously always the uh, problem that one of these may blow um, and so obviously that ruins our entire four in one ESC but no longer because we can simply take these apart uh, and replace a new one and you can buy these of course individually so if that does happen and you happen to blow one simply desolder it and then go ahead, get a new one and attach it in there and that will be sorted. So like I said, 25 amp, uh, four to six S, this is gonna be perfect for this build. Now, talking of four to six S, I'm actually gonna be running a four S battery on this. Uh, this is the GNB 1300 milliamp hour. It's lovely, it's got a very nice matte finish on here as opposed to these shiny ones. And I think it looks a lot better. Um, it's 120 C, although obviously it's not gonna be 120 C. I think Joshua Bardwell uh, reviewed a couple of these. They turned out to be about 70 or 80 C, but that's still pretty decent. Uh, they didn't seem to sag at all, seem to be quite constant discharge. Uh, so they are a pretty decent battery, but you might be wondering, well, how the hell am I going to charge this? Where is the balance plug? And that is because revolution coming up, we have got a unpluggable balance plug. So no more getting uh, caught the uh, little balance plug in the end, uh, getting it caught in your props and smashing it to pieces. We can now simply unplug this and plug it back in, which I think is a fantastic idea. Uh, I don't know why this hasn't come into fruition a lot earlier. Um, so we can simply plug that all the way in uh, when we want to charge it and then obviously 
unplug that, it's a little bit stiff um, uh, when we are ready to fly. So we've simply got the uh, nice thick wires of the battery plug uh, just plugged into the quad and then we've got nothing sticking out these sides which I think is great. This battery feels really really nice in the hand, it's really thick and you'll be able to see it's got a little bit of foam uh, on the corners here uh, on the top and it's also you can feel it in the bottom so it's nice to know that the uh, cells are a little bit protected so if we get any dints uh, on the corners or the bottom or top which is where it usually happens uh, when we drop our batteries then there's not going to be any severe damage to the cells because they are quite well insulated so you can go ahead and get um, a 5 or 6s version of this obviously um, if you want to but we're just going to be doing 4s for this build because I think it will hopefully uh, be quite enough uh, and give us enough power and thrust and talking of thrust let's take a look at the motors we've got these are tiger motors uh, f to the four these are from t-motor uh, and these are a little nondescript these are actually f60 pros uh, 2500 kv you can get a lot of different ratings of these you can get um i think they do f20 pros and f40 pros and now even f80 pros so taking a look in the box, you'll see obviously we have uh, the spare nuts and everything, uh, bolts even, and we've also got a spare um, thing to attach our props on, a spare prop but a spare prop bolt. Um, and taking a look inside these, uh, you'll see we've got a very nice motor. Uh, this is, like I mentioned, F60. Um, I'll zoom in on that a bit more. So uh, T motors, they do really, really good motors. Um, and these are on some really awesome builds. So this is gonna be providing a lot of thrust for us and they're gonna be really, really reliable motors. And coupled with our um, ESCs and the FC as well, these are gonna handle amazingly. I'm really looking forward to test them out. I'm just gonna see if it'll fit. Yeah, yeah, that'll definitely fit onto there um, when we uh, when we come to doing that all up. Now, quickly on to the uh, what's going to go onto the motors. These are our propellers. So I'm using a set of the best assist props ever. Uh, these are Racecraft, um, and these are 5045s gold accented. Uh, I think they're called, um, is it gold dust or something like that? Uh, I just thought these looked really, really sweet and especially paired with the um, gold of the uh, frame as well. You know, these are going to look seriously good. Uh, and, you know, Racecraft are really, really good as well. These are quite cheap as well uh, and you can get them pretty much uh, from any country you know if you're in america they have an american warehouse uh, we've also got a uk warehouse for these as well so really fast delivery on these if you break some and you need to get some spare finally i've also got quite a bit of uh braid this is uh gold as well i'll leave a link to these i've got two versions you'll be able to see um this is just for the motor wires. Uh, I'm not actually sure if these are going to be able to fit in here. I think I might need a thicker braid, uh, but I'll test that out. So I just thought I would get this uh, just to make the quad look even that little bit more better. Uh, so these are going to go along here uh, if they fit, um, and I'll show me putting those on uh, later or maybe having to get some thicker ones uh, if need be. Uh, so I got these off eBay. I think they were quite cheap, um, and they're going to look really sweet on this quad if we can get it all set up. Finally, for the camera, I'm going to be using a run cam swift purely because this was the only spare i had i actually ordered um a new version of the run cam but it didn't arrive so uh, i just got too impatient i would leave well i will leave a link uh, in the description to a couple of the new uh, such as the arrow and the monster uh, v2 and v3s um because i probably suggest getting one of those over this old model um but yeah run cam you know they're pretty all uh, quite good they're all pretty much the same um in operation if you get uh, similar branded ones um so don't worry too much about the camera but you know, I'd probably suggest one of the new run cams or maybe a Fox here. Anyway, I'll leave a link to a few of those in the description. So anyway, that is our entire build done. Um, well, that's our entire component list done. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the build and you'll be able to see it is really modular. There's not a lot of parts to this. Uh, it's going to be a really, really simple build. Uh, I'll do step by step if you guys want to follow along at home. Um, and so yeah, you know, this isn't going to be hard for any of you. Uh, if it's your first or second time building a quad, this is going to be super easy to follow along to. Anyway, I'll be doing that in the next video, so stay tuned to check it out, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.